Look at that. Good. <laughs> Good to see you, Melissa. How are you? Very cold and keeping dry faster. <laughs> yes. Pray for that rain and it came. Yes. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I didn't want to run up my water bill, so I figured I'd use the uh, natural elements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you took a shower outside, right? <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> I don't think the neighbors or my kids want to see that. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Ooh. Hey, he made it. This is my dad. Oh. oh, hi, hello. Hi, uh, from Canada. Love it. Yes, can you hear him, Dad? Dad, turn your speaker up. Huh? Turn it up. Oh, can you see me? Howdy, everybody. Oh, okay. You can see me? Yeah. No, we can't oh, see. No, no. The video. Turn on the video. Turn on your video. Let me see if I can help you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I just sent I just sent it to your thing to to help you. Hopefully, oh, here it is. Start start my video. Start your video. Yay! Hey, look at my mini me. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> hey, can you see me now? <laughs> Everyone, this is my dad. Dad, this is Melissa, Lily, Sudi, Anson. Hi, Hi Mister. How are you? Hey, Come over here, Donna. <laughs> How y'all doing? You're blessed. Good to see you, Holy Man. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining. Nice meeting everybody. Thank good. you. Thank you. All right. Any testimonies? Any by the ways? Okay. Uh, so this morning, remember, Pastor, you told you told me that uh, if we dream of somebody that somebody is actually thinking of me. Correct. Right? Uh-huh. So this morning I I was I was, I dream of, of that somebody <laughs> and that person I was just thinking that person must may be thinking of me. Yeah. They yeah. were in the thoughts. Okay. So at that point at that point if that person is thinking of me um he's not calling me it's okay oh they were just in your thoughts mm. just send them a blessing send them love that's all oh they don't they don't mean they, you have to be neighbors and hang out and they were just in your thoughts that's all it's they, a were, they were in my thoughts meaning they are not thinking of me it's just that i was thinking of them no, no, no. They were thinking about you because it was a dream state. They were thinking about you. Oh. That was a connection. Oh. That's all. Just count it as a blessing. Count it as an honor. Someone thought about you in the spirit world. Mm. They could have thought about somebody else. <laughs> That's a good thing. Mm. That makes sense? Okay. Yes. All right. Any other ones? Uh, okay, today today is a very good day. We had our family photo, <laughs> and you know what? the The weather, but well, somebody actually the weather forecast was supposed to be raining. But like I say, when Lily says a good day, it has it is a good day. All right, so no rain. No, nothing. Dry. Say, I prayed for rain and got rain. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have too much rain here. Yeah. Yeah. So we need a break. So when Anson got back, we have more sun, less uh -huh. rain. Praise God. Well, see, you have dominion over all of the earth. The <laughs> the that is the blessing. <laughs> all right. Uh, Stanley, Stanley was asking me, he said, Oh, how come I wake up with a fan on? He woke up with a fan on. He didn't turn the fan on? I said, yeah, that's why I was telling him. I said, hey, perhaps you sleepwalk and you turn on the fan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Then he said, it cannot be. If you uh, turn on the, uh, if, if you sleepwalk, the light 
supposed to be on with a fan. But how come the light is off? It's only the fan. Okay. I don't know. He has a he. Well, you might not understand this, but each one of you have archangels. Remember? Oh, I I was thinking of that. I, I was thinking that the angel is playing a trick on him or something. Not a trick. They're helping him because he's hot. He's hot and he's warm, but he don't want to get. He don't want to wake up. Who wants to get up out of a warm bed or? a cool bed to go across the room to turn the light switch on <laughs> to get back in bed to enjoy cool air. So in his mind, he asked for it. Oh, did you ask for it, Stanley? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Subconsciously, he asked for it. He said he, say he don't know. But it's okay. It's, it's, it's a fan. With, it's, it's a fan with this, it's the ceiling light with the fan. So <laughs> I'm very sensitive to light. I always make sure I always have the curtains closed mm -hmm. because I would wake up if, there, if light comes in. Right. So I thought it was really weird. The lights, when I turn off the lights, the fan was off. Absolutely. So there are two levers for the light and the fan. And so if I were to turn on the fan, I need to at first turn on the light, turn off the light, then turn on the fan. Right. So having the light turn on is really weird if I did it by myself. So I was wondering if somebody came into my room and did it for me. But then again, they would have to turn off the light anyway. Right. Then, well, do you remember when I showed you guys how to grow your fingers? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I remember that? <laughs> well, Stanley, here's the thing. When I tell you you have dominion over, when I say you have, when I say, Every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon, you have dominion over. You are so powerful in your thought that you can create. I want to turn light on. I want to turn fan on. It'll happen. You remember when we moved the, uh, you remember when I showed you how to move the necklace? Uh -huh. We moved the pencils? Oh. Can everybody see this? Everybody hear this? Can you hear this? Yeah, a little bit. Can you hear it? When you start playing with the frequencies, you hear? You change the frequency. It's probably too noisy, but Stanley did the same thing. Mm. Did the same thing. Let me ask you this. What can't you create? What? what can't you create? Nothing. How much dominion do you have over everything? Everything. Everything. Your mind becomes everything you what? Think. If you think I want to be cool, but I don't want to get up and turn the fan on, you don't have to get up and turn the fan on as God. And we mean that with so much respect and humility and compassion. But we are trying to get you to understand that these are the five steps that you can use so easily. Without, it's easy. I want the fan on. It happens. I'm still to the light. It is almost virtually impossible for somebody, according to what he's telling us, to come in and turn this thing on without the light coming on. You have to turn the light on first, then the switch. And then turn the light off because that's the power source. Right? That didn't happen. Is the fan above your bed or is it some is above your bed, right? Uh, no, not really. It's kind of to the side? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> would you notice if somebody walked into your room? I would. You yeah. would notice because you're if you're sensitive to light, you're going to be sensitive to noise. Yes. You're what they consider, like myself, a very light sleeper. Yes. Yeah. I'm very light sleeper where mm -hmm. if if the neighbor's security light goes off because of the cat walks by, I wake up. 
And I have the blinds closed. So you're sensitive, but you have the power to turn the lights on and the fan on. Just like you grow your fingers. Did you watch this? Everybody put your finger, your hands up. Are they still, are, did they still grow? Are they still? Did they change? It's still the same, right? It has not changed since we showed you in my kitchen, right? Oh, I didn't show Anson. An oh, Adrian was there. Answer was not there. But you still, it's still, you still have the effect. Look how long ago that was. Right? Look how powerful that was when we grew the fingers. So he wanted the light on, so he turned the light on. He has, you all have archangels and assistants to help you and guide you. That one who did what? Subconsciously ask. Step two, God stop. Step three, subconsciously, I believe that the fan on because I don't want to get up because I'm lazy to turn the light switch on because I'm sensitive yeah. to the light. So, so can, I, can, can I say that I don't have to pull angel do something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then your archangel is talk to someone else from your family like, Anson, go and cook. It's like, <laughs> yeah, when you wish for that, somebody else will cook on your <laughs> Yeah, somebody no, will cook. Oh, that's a different story. That's a diff yeah, that's a different issue. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But when I'm when I'm working out, I ask my angels for more strength. So I, my I even tell them. Give me a good swift kick in the butt if I'm if I'm slacking, and they help me. Oh come on, you can do two more reps. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and I'll do two more, and they'll say, "Good job, yay!" High five. No, go do some pull ups, and my arms are all shaky and quaky. <laughs> but this is part of the asking because this is part of the prayer. This is part of your manifestation. This is part of you being God in this human body to have what you're desiring because you put your mind into it because let this mind be in you is what you're going to be. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense? Yes. Well, to, yes. In our lesson. Oh, any other testimonies, by the way? Anson, none? <laughs> no. He, had, he just had fun. You know, sleeping the whole day, <laughs> and that the the archangel Lily serving mm -hmm. all his meals. <laughs> archangel Lily. <laughs> so these few days, he's just like a baby at home. <laughs> well, you got your whole family. And that's the blessing. Yeah. That's the Thank you. Uh, yes. Absolutely. And we actually send you holiday blessings. Tomorrow is my rebirth in Christ celebration. So I'm going to go make myself a cake and treat uh -huh. myself a gift. Uh, absolutely. Okay. And you can join me in the spirit. Yes. 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 Actually, actually, that was my private conversation with Lily. <laughs> and you repeated it. We hear everything. No, all right. it's all Lisa's fault. Spot. She's too loud. <laughs> She don't know how to whisper yet in the spirit. I hear you guys. <laughs> well, we did right. once. Huh? We did once when we surprised with the, the visit to... That was, a, that was a good one. You got me on that one. You got me on that one. That was a good one. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't get you until you got right here. Yeah. It was like my, my pastor's spider senses was tingling or something. <laughs> Oh, since then, since then you, since then, Pastor, you have your antenna yeah. on. Yeah. Antenna on. I have, to, I have to keep my antennas up, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So in our lesson today, it is really a piggyback of yesterday, which is observing your choices. Everything obey. 
every single day, every single day, you always are making a what? A choice. Yeah. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you decide or choose what I'm going to wear, what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to, what route I'm going to take to work, what, whatever. The choice. Why we want to emphasize observing the choice is that way when you wake up, you're making the right what? Choice. Lily is a great example because she says, it's going to be a perfect day, even though the weatherman said it's going to rain. Yes. And everybody in Vancouver knows who watched the weather, knew it was supposed to rain, and Lily prayed no rain and got no rain. <laughs> Observe the choice. <clears throat> I choose to have good weather so I can spend it with my family and we don't have to be miserable and wet and cold. <clears throat> Nobody wants to be miserable, wet, and cold. Yes. So you observe the choice. So, question: How do you observe your choice? You make up your mind and be clear about what you want. <laughs> I love you so much, God. It is so simple. <laughs> Say it again. So you make up your mind. What is it that you want? And just tell the universe. And you always hear me say this: What do you want, and why do you want it? This helps you with the five steps of when you're praying. What do you want and why do you want it? Just like Lily says, it gives you clarity and focus on what you're desiring to manifest. That's part of the five steps of your prayer. Does that make sense? So what do I want and what do I want? What do I want is a what? Question. What do I want as God? What do I want to experience today? What do I want to create today? That makes sense? Mm -hmm. And once you make that choice up, you have to get into the emotional alignment of that feeling. That's the secret. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So once you get yourself in alignment with that emotion, now you're starting to believe it's going to be perfect weather. It's going to be perfect weather. I'm going to let the universe do its job because I believe it's already taken care of. Mm. In other words, you didn't have to hope for it, no. wonder about it. You were confident in your choice of what you were asking. This mm. is what I want. This is why I want it. I want to have a good day out with my family. I don't want us to be cold and miserable because when it's wet, people drive crazy. And there's a lot of accidents and it slows mm. things down. Mm -hmm. And people are grumpy. Yes. Even he get grumpy. <laughs> Didn't get grumpy. Yeah. It was the rain. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So what, what steps must you take to observe those choices? When you wake up, what are the first what is what should be the first step? When you wake up, what should be your first step? You well, you have to think about what kind what what kind of day you want, mm -hmm. and then you can decide on what what you need, what kind of conditions you need. Correct, absolutely. And, and then you probably will have to decide what is it that you want to ask, right? Absolutely. I'll give you I'll give you an example of what I do. As soon as my eyes, hey, world, I'm alive. I still got breath. I come into this day in God, with God, for God, and by God. I live this day in God, with God, for God, and by God. I will close this day in God, with God, for God, and by God. I decree that I'm one month younger in health, energy, vitality, strength, and appearance. That's why I look so handsome. <laughs> Soon you look like a baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just keep going backwards. <laughs> But those are, those are the steps that help me make the choices to align myself with who? God. Mm -hmm. I come into this gate in with forfeit by God. Mm -hmm. Everything is connected to me what? God. So if I'm connected to God, with God, what? All things are possible. Yes. Nobody can go against you. So if Lily decides I want clear weather, that's what you're going to get because that's what you believe. 
and it's not impossible. Stanley wanted the fan on without getting out of bed, and he got it. And he's freaked out about it, and it's okay. Good. Practice more of it. <laughs> oh. Get better at it. Mm. Be an expert at it. Mm. Next thing you know, he'll be he'll be floating cups into the into the room. <laughs> that should be scary. <laughs> oh, that's called evolution. Okay. If, if I can bring back with the spirit of God a dead woman who's still living and breathing right now, he can turn the fan on. Okay. Nothing's impossible because here's why. One is no different than the other. Bring it back to dead and turn it on the fan, same thing. What, Pastor? Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> why? Because it comes from the what? Same source. Mm. Mm. You're still tapping into the one same source of step two. Step two, he does the job. He does the work. So if he does the work, it takes pressure off of me. How long does it take to make that choice? Eight seconds. Yeah, almost instant. Be the thought. So when you're observing your choices, be mindful of the choices that you're making. That goes with your emotion. That goes with how you want to dictate your day, who you want to be in relationship with, the food you want to eat, mm -hmm. the scenery you want to see, everything. Mm -hmm. These right here dictate your what? Mood and emotions. Think about this. If it's rainy and cloudy, what is the majority of people around mood? No good because it's wet. It's wet. It's cold. It's no sunshine. Yes. But then if you have a clear, blue, sunny, perfect day, how many people smile during that day? Should be everybody. Almost. Majority of the people. Why? Nobody's running under umbrellas. Who wants to smile on the umbrella? I don't yeah. have time to smile at you. It's cold. It's wet. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to speak to you right now because it's raining. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. go in the building. And so then when it rains, when it rains, you hold the umbrella. Your hands are actually very cold. Yeah. So you're not waving at anybody. You're not smiling at anybody. You get out your car and you run to the building. Yes. <laughs> or you walk very, very fast. Yes. Mm. Are you waving at people? No. <laughs> Are you trying to converse? No. No. <laughs> you don't yeah. do that to what? You get in the building. Mm -hmm. But if it's sunny and clear and perfect weather, more than likely people will walk by and say, hey, hi, or hi, or nod. Yes. Some type of acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm not just, that's just an, an example of that. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's, it doesn't take long to shift the mind to having a positive thought. Mm -hmm. The choice is, I'm, me and the Father are one. This is the positive choice. God is love. This is why we're one, because God is love. So if God is love, then I want to tap into that love energy and get some positivity of love. That way, whoever I meet, I'm going to plant the seed of what? Love. Whether I see them ever again, but I want to plant that seed of love. So now I'm observing the choices of everyone I meet is a mirror of myself, so I see through their eyes the source of God, good, holy, and beautiful. So now we change the scope of that whole environment. Does that make sense? Okay. Your affirmation. I choose to love God, others, and self. And you already say that every day. Mm -hmm. You say it every day. We yeah, do yeah. that in writing. <laughs> That's all. So look well then in this moment. Stop and look within the mind. Then observe the simple day that you have been living thus far. And ask yourself, what have you desired in this day? And allow memory to bring whatever feeling, perception, and thoughts you may have had Look upon them with perfect innocence. Simply observe, oh, in that moment, I was certainly not in desiring peace. In that moment, I certainly wasn't desiring perfect remembrance. Hmm, how interesting. If you can find a moment in this day that you have lived so far, even if you begin reading this lesson five minutes after you got up out of bed, if you look well into those five minutes, you might discover that there has been 
at least a moment in which you are not deliberately choosing to desire to remember the union of God. Even I don't do that. I have to go, oh, I got to think about God. Because mm -hmm. I'm still human. Because mm -hmm. I got to go, I got to get the kids up. I got to wake the wife up. I got to get everybody out the door by a certain time. We're on a time schedule. She has to be at work at such and such time. Am I really remembering God at that moment? No. no. I got to go, okay, let me get God. Okay, now I thank, I thank my family for traveling grace that there's no accident, that they can make it to their destination safely. And I pray for the environment that they're in, a hedge of protection, and I pray that they come home safely mm -hmm. and in a good spirit. Because <laughs> yes. it's easy to walk in from work and have a bad day, and it affects the whole family. Mm. That's fact. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, does that mean that we're walking around saying, I desire union with God? No. <laughs> no. I desire union with God. Those are just words. The desire is a, is a feeling. It pervades the heart. You might say that you feel it in the body, which is really just the depth of the mind anyway. Look well and see if there was a moment in which you were using the power of the mind to decide against the kingdom. When you find that moment, just look at it, observe it with innocence, and simply say, I have could choose otherwise. That is a, this is a really good exercise when you're seeing things that you're not satisfied with. This is a good, real quick, instantaneously shift of the mind to say, does that make sense? Yes. I can, I can, I could look at this. In other words, I look at all my past relationship with all my exes and I went, I could have choose different, <laughs> but I look back and went, I had to go through that because it made me who I am now. It made me the husband and the father I am now. So it was necessary for me to go through that experience to learn and grow to be who I am now. Just like if I were to ask each one of you, were you the same 20 years ago? You're going to say no. Mm -hmm. Of course not. Yes. Adrian, <laughs> Adrian of course not. <laughs> he was only three years old. He was only three, but he but he was still evolving as a three as a three year old. He still had power. He could freely choose to be whatever he wanted to be at three. And then when he got older, I want to go in and be an entrepreneur and start my own business in fitness and be good at it and make a good living out of it. He observed the choice of this is what I want, this is why I want it. And here's why. Because you, each of you instilled in your children those qualities. That's why. If it was not otherwise, you'd have some ragamuffins. <laughs> not necessarily, but you kind of see when you go out in public how you ever been in a, in a restaurant and that little kid is bouncing all over the place? Mm -hmm. and the parent is not controlling that kid, and you want to take that little kid? <laughs> no, now, now I do it in my mind. I, I would tell him or her, you know, hey, you're a good kid. Sit right. down and enjoy your meal. Let your parents have a good time. Right. And then you see that the child will kind of cool down, calm down. And sit down. But the next five minutes, get back up. <laughs> Free will spirit, sit down. I'm there too. <laughs> but as they got older, mm -hmm. they don't have to they learn that lesson anymore. Well, they get heavier. Right. They evolve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> the world remains uncaused, anything outside of your own mind, yet within you giving complete dominion. You are given complete dominion. You are given complete dominion. Over what? Everything. I love y'all. Don't make me teary eyed, man. That's oh, don't cry. <laughs> when you know you own everything, everything becomes easy to you. That is a very powerful statement that you just said. I visualize in the spirit for this other child to calm down and they calm down. 
You can't make that stuff up. There was a little boy when I was the assistant minister at my old church who had 104 fever and the mother took the child to the emergency room and they tried to treat the baby and couldn't get the, the fever down. But because of the insurance issue, they couldn't treat the child anymore. And she came to church. Spirit told her to come to church. And she brought the boy to church and he just sickly, sweaty, just feverish. And I said, Maria, what's wrong with Junior? And she tells me the story and I pull it to the back of the church and I said, you mind if I lay hands? And she said, please play. I laid my hands on his head and I said, you're healed. Yeah. And we walk back to the front. Yeah. Five minutes, everything comes back. Junior jumps off the couch and is running around the church terrorizing people again. <laughs> the mother's at peace and forgets he had a fever. She's enjoying the message and now she's chasing Junior around the church. And I went, how's Junior? She went, oh. and she started crying. Oh my God, Pastor, thank you. I completely forgot you healed Junior in tears. And you did the same thing. And I'm thinking we probably should have just put the fever down a little bit so Junior couldn't run around and terrorize people. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same influence it's the same power you've been given dominion not that we control people like that but we influence energetically I use the example that when you walk into the room and you feel the tension in the room that's the energy you're either going to change the energy or run from the energy or succumb to that energy and all of you always change that energy Yes. Oh, Anson gave a great story of when the angry man came shouting at him, not knowing what the issue was, and he changed the energy. Mm. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you screaming at me? It wasn't me. Oh, yeah, Pastor. Today, 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 I did that. Oh. I was so surprised. The, the, the lady was talking to me on the phone. Uh -huh. Then and then I was just quiet listening to her, and she said, "Melissa, why are you quiet?" I said, "Because whatever I say, you you are not hearing me." Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And but I was so surprised that my voice is not high. Nope. It was it was calm. So I was, I I thought myself, oh, I did a good job. Yeah. You influenced and calmed down a situation. You know why? She felt your energy. You're not fighting with me, so I'm not getting the I'm not getting the response I'm looking for. So you must be ignoring me. Hello, Melissa. Go there. And then when you simply tell her the truth, wow, wait a minute. Maybe I have been unreasonable. Maybe I have been stubborn. May yeah. have been, you know, not I wanted to tell her that. Yeah. And you were, and here's the thing. You taught her love, patience, and neutrality in one sitting. That's important. That's powerful. Because she talk, 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 and you're about, uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but then when she notices, wait a minute, you're not listening to me. No, I'm listening to you. You're not listening to me. <laughs> wow. When people see the mirror of themselves, prayerfully they, prayerfully, they would want to change. And did the person stop yelling or being confrontational? <laughs> they calm down. Wow, that's, rash, that's a rational question. You want me to answer, but you won't let me get a word in. So I'm not going to say anything. You're not giving me the response I want. I dare you. <laughs> I want to fight with you. Mm -hmm. I dare you not put your hands up and fight back. <laughs> you cheater, Melissa. <laughs> you fighting dirty now. <laughs> 
But it was no fight. It was, I'm bringing this situation into what? Neutrality and love on my terms. Mm. Some dominion that I have. I don't have to fight with you. You're not gonna make me, you're not gonna make me get out of character with you and be unsatisfied because my pastor told me satisfied, not satisfied. This is not satisfying to me. <laughs> We're gonna make some satisfaction here and I'm gonna plant some love in you. And then the conversation changed something completely different, didn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. It had to. When love never what? Failed. Yeah. When you stay in love, you dominate. You influence. You manifest. You create. You become that which you're wanting. I want a peaceful relationship with you without the screaming because we can, we can communicate without screaming. Your screaming is a what? Choice. You're choosing to be angry and upset and frustrated over misunderstanding, miscommunication. That's all it is. Something was wrong and now I have to take it out on someone. And it doesn't work. Never works. So this is the dominion that we're talking about. Notice four different scenarios of how that dominion was played out. Wow, how exciting. So there's not just one way of your dominion. There's infinity. There's no number. Any way you choose is how it will be. That's good stuff. Any way you choose is the way it's going to be. Mm -hmm. The world, this means that within one mind of Christ, individual occurs, for a moment perceive the one mind as, as one ocean, where individual wave arise, made of the same substance, perfect freedom, perfect knowledge, and union with God. My brother Buddha taught this years ago, where he says the mind is like an ocean, and we're all like the waves of the ocean. And even though you might have one wave or water try to separate itself from the wave, it's still part of the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because eventually it will turn to the wholeness of the what? Ocean. Okay. And continue the wave. Even though it went out for that short amount of time as an individual, it still had all the contents of what? The ocean. Yes. Wow. wow. Just wanted to throw that in there. Mm. Oh, thank you. In that freedom, the power to decide or to desire is present, and desire begets worlds without end. That is what your entire planet once came from. That is what your entire solar system came from. <clears throat> your entire universe was born of desire. The power of choice allows us to create our destiny. The power of choice allows us to do what? Create our destiny. Within the power of choice lies the ability to include all parts of our lives in our awakening from our deepest primary needs of comic, cosmic and personal state of their be being no I of pure selfishness. This then becomes divine selfishness. What is good for me will naturally be good for all others. Don't we normally take that attitude? If it's good for me and it works for me, don't you want to share it with others so you, they can see the same benefit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So divine selfish is selfish. I want another aspect of myself so they can have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In other words, we want them to help. We want to help them wake up to be better versions of themselves. Yes. So they're not suffering, struggling, fearful, in doubt, mean, unreasonable, mm -hmm. all of those things, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in this embrace and inclusion, nothing is left out and the sense of false duty to fit into the collective consciousness is left behind. So a new sense of responsibility to be all that you can be arises. In other words, you don't try to fit in with the crowd. So in other words, you know how when, when fashion comes out, everybody has to wear the latest fashion? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I'm the odd duck. I'll come in with something totally out of style. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one. I'm too lazy to pick colors. <laughs> I just want to pick my favorite color and that's it. I have one suit for two occasions. You know what they are? <laughs> the wedding and the death. There you go. <laughs> one suit fits all. I, I don't have a lot of choices. You're going to get black and white. <laughs> Well, the guys are easy. All you need is a different tie. Well, I, I, I chose this body. I, can't, I can only speak for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Where did I leave off? Oh, this inclusion does not negate anything or anybody, but includes and honors our deepest passion and desires as our road to awakening. Divine selfishness extends outwards by honoring what lies within. And at our core, by honoring our knowing, we then share a beacon for others to realize that doing what is good for our soul is good for also others as well. Choice is what choice was created in order to birth infinite possibilities that have never been done or thought before. This creation of duality allows us to experience what we have never experienced before allowing us new turns and twists in our pathways that lead to more excitement, bliss, growth, and abundance. The unknown is lived through choice. It is, the, it is the unknown that leads to our living of our greatest love. When we choose anything that lies against the grain of what, why we're told society by our peers, by what is expected of us by collective thought forms of the world, we experience something new that opens up new possibilities for everyone else. This rippling effect out this rippling out effect affects our actions to venture forth boldly, innovate, and live our passion, touches, moves, and inspires others to do the same in their own lives, however they may look to them. The judgments, condemnation, and fears of the collective get gradually broken down in you and in all others through these actions, pioneering as soon as everyone will pioneer too until the cycle is broken. So everywhere you go, you're planting the seed of love to break those cycles. Mm. So you're taking them on yourself, but you're not taking them on in judgment. No. No judgment. It's no spread judgment. out. Everything is good, beautiful, and holy. So just give love. Just give love. So this right here, prayerfully, will allow people to see and make a choice of what love looks like, what love feels like through Lily, Sudi, Anton, Adrian, Melissa, Albert, Everyone that we come in contact with, we want to share with them what we have for their embetterment. Mm. We want them to be better off than they are. We want them better off tomorrow than they are today. Yes. We want them better off today than they were yesterday. Yes. <laughs> and so there's also a give and take in the exchange. Mm -hmm. As we give to them, they give back to us. Mm -hmm. We learn more love, more compassion, more true neutrality, more forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, now your money comes in, your abundance come in, your health improves, all those things improve. Mm -hmm. Because it's freely given to you because now it is your birthright. These are your, birth, these are your divine birthrights from God. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to pray for them. They're already given to you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good stuff. Yeah. All right. Questions, comments, concerns? Mm. We all good? All good. All good. Uh, all right. It's going to get better tomorrow, right? <laughs> it's better right now. Oh, yes. If we if we in the motion of now to better tomorrow, we get a better tomorrow now. Mm. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. Everything's in the now. I have a question. Yes. Um, so yesterday... Uh, I had to work mm -hmm. in the gym. Um, so I was just wondering why. Because uh, sometimes, most, most of the time when I'm hearing you guys like talk, it's always like, oh, you need to create something positive and then something positive will come to you. How mm -hmm. come that specific day yesterday, I was uh, just thinking to myself, why did my manager put me in on a Sunday shift? I hate working on Sundays. Why am I here? <laughs> Just get me out of here, please. Like, 
Mm. And I would just complain to everyone, all my coworkers, like, oh, I hate it. It's so tiring. It's so boring. It's so slow. I just want the work to end. And then all of a sudden, like, um, I was selling, like, a lot of the uh, personal training packages. Mm -hmm. And then I sold, like, really, really big packages. I sold multiples of them. And then all of a sudden, I, I'm just, like, the top of the sales um, team. <laughs> by over $2,000 just because I worked yesterday. <laughs> so the, the universe is telling you, even though you don't like a job, but you're very good at this, that's why you're back here. <laughs> well, what it's showing you is <clears throat> be open-minded to new possibilities of the choice. Yeah. We that's just one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can choose to be happy about it or to be cranky about it. <laughs> but then you realize that that's the only day that get the most big money. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So in the end, you'll say, oh, yeah. OK, I, 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 I suffer throughout the day, but I'm grateful because I make so much sales. Imagine if I'm happier. My god, I make double. You made $2,000. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, pastor, I love you. I got to work. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's just and I would not tell you personal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Because what you're what the universe is doing is showing you not to judge it. So even though you complain and griped about it, you still did your job effectively and efficiently, and you were professional about it. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you could have yes. been a rude salesman and not sold nothing. Yeah. They, they could have, they could, watch this. Even though you complained about it, you really didn't complain about it. You know why? The people that you encountered were still happy to buy the product. People mm -hmm. feel energy. Mm -hmm. If I had a, ba a bad day in recruiting, everybody I tried to recruit felt it. And it was so hard to recruit those people. Mm -hmm. So even though you went, man, I got to work Sunday, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to buy this product, and all of a sudden, watch this. You couldn't think about Sucky Sunday while selling good product, could you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, the thought, the thought by then would be different. Luckily, it's I was late. here today. <laughs> At the end of the day, wow, this is a, this is a good two thousand dollars Sucky day. <laughs> yeah, but so, anyway, it's called well paid. So. so, so the biggest thing to say is thank you, universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank I'll you. Do better next time. I, yeah, I thank you for the experience of learning this because look at the advantage. I keep saying eleven point five, man. That's a little bit closer. A little yeah. bit closer. Watch this. Every day. Imagine, that. imagine if you did that every Sunday for a year. Mm -hmm. <gasps> How much would you make? Wow. Yeah. Would you complain about the Sunday then? No. no. <laughs> he, he's going to volunteer and find yeah. everybody else. Give it to me. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, five, six. Come on. Yeah. You only have to work on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Saturday off? One day of work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> I'll take that deal any day of the week. Mm. Mm. Think about that. You can do that every Sunday. Wow. Mm. Mm. Now your financial status has changed, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Big time. Uh -huh. Now what happens is you get the promotion. Now you get off commission. Now you get to go work like the other people and get a real check and not worry about sales. Mm. Ah. Now you get on salary and not commission. Mm. Yeah. That's the difference. So if you get $8,000 in one month based on what you're doing, you've secured, my friend, your entrepreneurship of your business. Absolutely. Now you're free. You can do whatever you want to do. You don't have $8,000 worth of bills. Trust me, I know this. <laughs> and if you do, you come over here, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a blessing. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that's good. $1,000 richer. I'd be like, Pastor, I love you, but I got to go. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and there's no offense taken because I'm like, go get your money, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's too easy. All right, any others? Mm, no, we're going to continue to create. Absolutely. How's the 30 day challenge? We should be coming up on next Sunday is the end of the forgiveness challenge. Y'all know that, right? Uh -huh. uh, I lost track. I know. I thought we're done forgiving. <laughs> oh, Pastor. Uh, actually, my, my, um, okay, uh, um, my angel was telling me to forgive the, uh, to forgive uh, the people that who, who did wrong to you. Mm -hmm. And so on Sunday, I met the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. On Saturday, oh, on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. On Saturday, Saturday, I met the people. So I was asking myself, do I have to? Forgive them? Can I really can do the forgiveness from far away? Yes. 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 Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. We would prefer you do that. We would prefer you forgiving the spirit first because they're not gonna receive it in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the mind. Not yep, they're not there yet. Mm -hmm. You might be there there, but they're not there yet. They're still holding on to that that feeling, that emotion, that grudge, that animosity. But when you do it in the spirit, you'll see a result. Matter of fact, when you do it in the spirit, they will approach you. <laughs> they will. Don't want them to approach me. Yes. <laughs> Sign of trouble, Pastor. Well, because you don't, you, you're unapproachable. You're going, <laughs> universe, I don't want them to come to me. I don't want them to come to me. Yeah, but that's the thing, <laughs> Melissa. Even though you say I don't want, I don't want to have anything to do with them. The universe does not understand. Don't want. Yeah. Nope. It's gonna give you want because that's why. Them, 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 them. Yeah. So whatever you go, you're still gonna see that. Okay. Because you are still in the same vicinity. Mm hmm. <laughs> so you're still there. You saw them. They saw you. You ran away in the spirit. No, don't come over here. I'm a hide. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it's okay. You forgive them in the spirit and then you will see change or they'll go away and it's okay. Mm. It's okay for them to go away. Mm. As long as there's no judgment, there's no animosity, none of that. It's okay. Yeah. And, but here's the secret. Who do you forgive first? Yourself. Yourself. Yes. Forgive self first of even having an idea of separation between you and another brother or sister. Hmm. And then forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Ah. They really don't. <laughs> they really don't. Lily was saying, Lily, if they, if, they knew you, if they knew you were God, do you think they would treat you that way? No. They, they think they are God. greater God. They think they are greater God than us. Yeah. But they don't know you're God. <laughs> For me, it doesn't matter. I know. That's <laughs> but you're good, you're good at you're good at calming them down in the spirit. Oh, really? Superpower. Mm. Why do you think you don't have a whole lot of confrontational people in your life? I don't create that. Exactly. It's not desirable. Yeah. You attract that unto yourself. Each one of us do. That's why it is said in the human world, birds of a feather do what? So that's really the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. That's your reaping and sowing. That's all it is. So you're attracting likeness unto yourself so that you can have what? Relationship. Mm -hmm. Experience. Creation. Okay, I was thinking that they come to, at least for me, they come, I come into experience with them 
and then I had a terrible experience and then I was telling myself so they are setting up as an example for me to learn not to be like them right that's it and so when I accepted that and they so I, I have to think that way that they don't come purposely just to harm me is right. that they didn't know what they're doing they're trying their best but they suck <laughs> right <clears throat> I'm better so right. I'm ready to go on right and you forgive them I, well, I have to right because yeah. and we move on and that's what makes our life much easier because we don't deal with that drama mm -hmm. yeah and here's the thing when you're at such a high vibration they don't want to be around you anyway mm. okay they really don't yeah they can't until they're happy, then you're in relationship. If they're not happy, y'all can't be in relationship. It's as simple as that. No, 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 no relationship going. <laughs> <laughs> Except that relationship as well. Okay, okay. I'll try. It's, okay. Really, it's okay to accept that relationship that they can play over there and I can play over here. Yeah. And it's okay. Yeah. We're still in a relationship because at the end of the day, do you want them dead? No. no. You want ill will to come to them? No. no. Heart harm danger? No. no. You just don't want to play with them. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, so Melissa, it's just that we don't want to play with them. You don't want to play with them. So they can go play with their group and you can play with them, but you're still in relationship with them because you encounter, as soon as they're in encounter, there's relationship, period. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. As soon as what? As soon as they're encounters, there's relationship. Oh. Immediately. Mm. Everybody builds from that immediate perspective, whether it's short term, long term. Mm. Y'all decide what you want to do in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that makes sense? Yes. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Anybody else? We good to go? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You guys have a happy holidays. We yeah. love you. We'll see you Sunday. Okay. Bless you all. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We'll see you Sunday. Bye. <laughs> see you later, Daddy.